and welcome back to the stew. So continuing on our conversation on following your dreams, we've got a Bahamian superstar rapper with a powerful story. We're so happy to bring him out. Come on out, Nassau Brigante. Ooh. Who's my accent? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so good to have you. <laughs> so, Nassau Briganti, that is an interesting... That's Briganti. Briganti. Yeah. I, am I saying it right? Briganti. But I want to say it with an accent though. Briganti. Yeah, it's <laughs> so when you get international, I could say it like yeah, them, you it's know? It's Hispanic. You know? Perfect. So, yeah, yeah tell us uh, how you even got that name. Oh, I was watching a movie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, I got it from, it's Carlito's way. Um, yeah. Carlito Briganti. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, he always, he always wanted to get out like, the negativity and return to the Bahamas. So that's how I felt. I want to do what I got to do and then just come back home and chill out, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Chill out is what is cool. <laughs> I love to hey, it's better in the Bahamas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up, Dovin? So it's about your story. You know, mm -hmm. you have an incredible and powerful, inspiring, uh, touching story. I mean, all of these things. Um, Tell us about this journey that has brought you to where you are now. Well, if you were to speak on like how I started music, um, I started writing music like in 2009, 2010, somewhere around now, right after getting diagnosed with Crohn's. Like, you know, at that time, like I had a, a lot of, I had a lot of friends. But then when you, when you get illnesses and people, you have to continuously need people, then you see who is who. Yeah. So I didn't have the people who, who was with me at, at first. So at the point I move in with, with a Mexican, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I learned, I learned Spanish, I learned everything because at the end of the day, that's all I had at that time. And when I move in with him, come to find out, you know, he was going through his own issues, wow. addicted to drugs and stuff like that. So he was hard on that stuff. So he was all I had to do. When I was in the hospital bed, can't even get a clean pair of clothes to wear. Man. All my friends in school, they ain't never come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The man addicted to the drugs and going through this, he come and, and make sure I was strict. Wow. You know what I mean? So that, that teaches me about never judging nobody, you know? Yeah. 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 And There's definitely something in life when people that actually can relate and be a part of kind of this, uh, I guess, relation. You know, when people are, when things are going good, people tend to forget that yeah. there's actually bad. But mm. you channeled that into rap. Mm -hmm. So tell us about kind of your inspiration for writing at this point. Yeah, it's like that because Coons, Coons has given you that abdominal pain. Man, I was being, I used to be in so much pain so much for, for so, such a long time. So I used to be in a room because I wasn't used to like the symptoms that come with it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't used to it. So like I, I stay away from everybody because I had so many, so much things going on. So I had so much to say and I was going through so much hurt from people leaving me and all this stuff. So I started writing the music, you feel right, what I'm saying? Right. And I didn't have the finances to do these things, so I slowly couldn't afford to go to the studio. So I like and write my music and buy equipment each each day. Each day I may buy the mic, next day I may buy the audio and the face. Awesome. Yeah. And then I had my own home studio. You right. feel what I'm saying? So and why was why was World Star Hip Hop the platform you chose? Because it was like, yo, you gonna do this or you gonna do it? Right. You gonna right. do it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was, a, it, it was at a point where after school and, and I was like, yo, if this is what we're going to do, let's put it out the world, see what they say. Mm -hmm. So I put out, put, put the song that I feel like I was ready to put out there right. because I was speaking from the heart right there. And yeah. then it, it started like, I write music, like it's just like, it's just coming from me, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I said, listen, let's put this out. And, and what then, was, what was the response like? Oh, um, DJ K. Slate, like he's one of the most legendary um, DJs in, in New York. Like he hit me up, his manager hit me up, and then I went over nice. there. It was Eminem's um, Shade Forty Five station, mm -hmm. and this is like the first time I was on the radio. Like I never, wow. I, never I, I come from like in the room, yeah, to over yeah, there. Correct. So it's like you know, I was like, what? <laughs> and then I walk in Manhattan and, and, and going up there and, and signing the wall next to Lady Gaga and everybody. I was like, wow, this, yeah. is, this is amazing, you know? Wow, what was yeah. it like being interviewed by Eminem's satellite station? Yeah, I was nervous, but 
it was it was a huge opportunity for me and, and I capitalized, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before we go, let's talk about some of the obstacles that you have faced because the conversation today has been about pushing through these obstacles that we all encounter and following your dreams. But yes, Crohn's disease, your mm -hmm. brother had Crohn's disease. You flunked out of COB at mm -hmm. the time of COB, mm -hmm. but yet you managed to go to college in mm -hmm. Canada, Atlanta, and then you got a diagnosis about your self, your mm. mom, you found out had Alzheimer's mm. and you had a friend pass away. Yeah, it was, it was crazy, man. It just like, because in, um, I went back to school because I know that's the only way I could do what I had to do. Because right. I, I, it made no sense being in the street. You're only going to be dead or in jail. Right. So I went back to school and I did my thing. And um, just when I got diagnosed with Crohn's, I went to the hospital and I found out my best friend, Alex, he gets shot and he, he was paralyzed after that. Wow. So then, after getting shoot, after him getting shoot, then it became a situation. The Crohn's was killing me. I had three surgeries. Wow. They cut my intestines. I, I took off five inches, then four inches, and then I had an infection. And I, after that, it was crazy. Then, wow. then I went back home. Um, after going, when I go back home, I realized my mommy touching the microwave. She's like, I hate when this is do this. You know, I'm like, mommy, this is a microwave. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So. And it hit me, I was like, oh man, she got all Alzheimer's, man, you know? Oh my God. So like, after going through all that, like, cause, and even even further, my father graduated for me because I graduated, my graduation, I was on hospital bed after surgery. My right. father walked for me for graduation. Yeah. Yeah. He never, powerful. he never went to school. Yeah. He, he always wanted, wanted his sons to get education. So that's why I always never let them down. Right. And, the, and the, the happiest day in my life is when my mother, sit down next to me my, on the hospital bed mm -hmm. and she says she's proud of me you know so well, speaking of education we're really happy that you're here because coming up after the break Nassau is going to perform his school inspiring story perform his song about <laughs> school <Yeah. laughs> inspiring and encouraging kids to stay in school yes. Uh, called Stay in School. So we've got that coming up more with Brigante after this. Yeah. Stay in school, huh? You paid your dues, Nassau, oh, Brigante. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for sharing that powerful and incredible life story of yours. Okay. Thank you. You've been watching this too. Of course, we are all throughout social media. ILTVstudios.com is our website. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube and catch up on all that you have missed. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>